Hello guys and welcome back to my garage and welcome back to Car Mechanics Simulator 2021. Now, yeah, what's to be said? Well, first of all, if you haven't actually checked out my CMS uh, series, there is a link at the top right there. Go and check it out. Uh, some fantastic content there and uh, yeah, just um, yeah, some really good stuff. Go and check it out. Go and check it out. And also there is some links in the description for you guys to check out, including my merch, uh, a tipping system, and also a link to the Discord if you want to come and join the community and have your say on things. Come and, uh, you know, come and join discussions in the community um, on Discord. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Don't ask what I'm saying. Okay. I never. I. I don't usually think of what I'm gonna say. It usually comes out. So anyway. <laughs> um. So yeah. Last episode, we started renovating the Mustang Fastback, and there's been a lot of changes actually since the you know, last video, especially with the Fastback Mustang. The fa the must. Oh my God! I said it all in one. The Mustang Fastback. Um, there has been a few issues with this so-called car, and one of them I have actually come across. So I've also posted it to them on my Twitter account, but hopefully we are not got any issues with this one. Um, there's no parts, you know, um, what's the word I'm for? No parts that we can't see. We can see all the parts. There is an engine in it, yeah. So, But they've all fixed this problem anyway, so we're fine. Um, so, yeah, so in the last episode, we done some starter restoration we completely restored the suspension that's all shiny and new now which is absolutely sweet uh, we did the wheels and the rims we did the body uh, we sprayed the body as well back to its beautiful was it racing green I would say it's well I don't know I don't think it's racing green I don't think it's green enough to be racing green but uh yeah we made it look very pretty and very gorgeous again and um yeah, I can't wait to get this thing, this thing set up, running right, and looking as though, you know, as though it was once was loved. Okay, so yeah, this episode we are going to be stripping down the engine. We are going to be rebuilding the engine, and uh, yeah, so we got you know this whole car is going to be rebuilt. It's not going to be corners cut. There's not going to be you know quick flip. It is going to be rebuilt from ground dust up to perfect spec and we're going to be trying out other things like you know adding performance parts doing the whole performance parts not just the little bits we did on the Supra we're going to be doing the whole shebang the whole engine and the whole exhaust and everything's going to be performance parts and I'm hoping to also eventually see I'm not I'm not going to sell this car straight off like I did the Supra we're going to keep this and work on this car over time um, adding quality parts to it, three-star quality parts to this car, and I want to make a full, basically a full three-star uh, Mustang Fastback. Now, the only reason why I said over time is because, uh, yeah, it takes a lot, a lot of uh, scrap to, well, just to achieve that, yeah? And we don't really have the scrap for it. As you can see, we have no scrap, and the best way of getting scrap is through crate system um you know through the crates you get from stories and that so i'm gonna have to grind obviously some of those stories out in order to get those crates or we can take trips to the scrap yard or junkyard whatever you want to call it and um to barns and try and get crates and quality parts there to scrap now i have done a video on the best way of getting scrap and the easiest ways i find to get in scrap and the only ways really of getting scrap in this game we've gone through all that on a video in the past so go and check that out again if you haven't already and uh yeah so we're going to be working on the engine i know i know i can't wait to get this engine up and running i'm just trying to think because this engine's got nothing this engine literally has nothing is there an engine in this car no but see this is what i mean this car came with no engine but then this isn't a bugged car all right now you know if it's a bugged car because well i will show you a quick image here what you will see when you go to buy the bug car but like i said i'm hoping it's fixed it, they do they have said it's fixed um but i haven't actually i don't know i haven't actually checked it out since that since they've said it's fixed so i don't know but i will like i said i've showed you an image of what you need to look for just in case it's only affecting the fast back uh, the Mustang Fastbacks at the moment. I don't think it affects any other car. 
Okay, so we have a lot to do on this engine. Um, it's going to be expensive buying it all. Okay, we need to buy... No, that's the body. I don't want the body. Go back. Um, I need to buy all the performance parts for this engine. Because we've got pistons and, and you know all the innards we need to get up. Camshafts and stuff like that. They all need to be water performance to fully do a performance engine. Um, so we've got to buy all that. But I think what we need to do is take a trip to a couple of barn, barns if we have maps. I think I don't know. I think we have maps. I think I think we got maps. Yeah, we got we got maps. So we'll take a couple of trips to barns. We'll go to the maybe to the the junkyard and I don't know. Go car auction. See if we can find a better engine for this thing. Now this thing has got engine swaps. So I am going to be playing with an engine swap. Um, we've got a V8 2 carb OHV engine at the moment. I'm thinking of going with a V8 2 carb OHV supercharge or a 6P or mag engine. Okay. Now there, each engine has different horsepower and different uh, torque and all that. So the best way I find to find it is to go create a new engine, find in those engines, and it will show you the the power band of that engine. So let's have a look at. So we have a V8 two carb OHV. We have 330 base horsepower, 579 uh, pounds of torque. All right, uh, that is our base engine at the moment. Now we could, like I said, I want to do an engine swap, so we could swap to an OHV supercharged engine, which is an increase of what's that? 50 horsepower, and an increase of well, quite a bit, but I'll say nearly two, two, about 200 uh, pounds of torque um, on that as well. And that's at lower RPM range for the supercharged. Now we have the 6P, which is here. We have 343 and 679 pound torque, um, which is more torque and three four three so we're only getting in like what is that 13 13 horsepower but we're actually getting a lot of torque a lot of torque 579 to 679 um it's not as much as the supercharge but for what this engine is that is that's a considerable amount of torque so this is more of a torquey engine six p is more of a torquey engine than the v8 two carb okay so the v8 ohv 6p is got more torque range than just the normal v8 uh two carb engine the mag however okay it's a drop down all right so basically the 6 hp 6 hp what am i 6p is kind of uh i don't know the mag is kind of just lower yeah it's got less horsepower to torque but you're looking at the RPM range, okay, as well. So the 6P at 2,755 RPM. So it's low, low RPM. We're getting about 679 pounds of pressure there, or pounds of torque, sorry. Uh, whereas in the mag, 3,255 RPM, we're getting about 650 pounds of torque. Um, so this is quite a balanced engine. The mag is quite a balanced engine compared to the 6P engine. But I think in all you know we are going to be perform adding performance parts on top so i think we're just going to whack a supercharger engine straight in it just makes sense more power than it and not only that we do have the bonnet for the supercharge engine already on the car so we're going to go with the supercharge engine which is basically a base build of a um you know we can use the v8 two carbo hv engine for this which if we take the parts off this uh if we take the parts off so we can use this as a base build the only thing that really changes is the timing gear and obviously the intake uh, but we will show you all that anyway i'll go through all that um supercharge please thank you so yeah this episode guys is all about the engine and building the engine up and creating as much power from the heart of the beast as we possibly can okay um if you're not interested in this then obviously thank you for watching but yeah we are you know that's what we're going to be doing today so let's start by going to uh some barns see if we can find a nice but it hasn't got to be a supercharged engine it can just be a basic ohv v8 ohv engine whether it be one carb or two car two carb it doesn't really matter uh, we just need all the basics and uh, yeah go from there 
Okay, so our first... Oh, shit. Our first uh, barn find. We've come across this Reptilia here. Uh, it's pretty good, Nick. The engine looks complete. It's only a one-carb engine. Um, we could do with quite a few parts of this. I'm thinking more like engine headers. I'm thinking like a lot of the timing gear, which we can get um, repaired up. you got oil pan. Yeah, etc, etc. There's there's a few parts we could take off this to save us some money. Um, it's only one carb, as I said. We ain't got to worry about that because we're going to change into a, a supercharger. Um, with price range, because obviously we're going to be chucking money just into an engine. Now we can clean this car out, prepare the bodywork. We're getting about 25, yeah, you know, we're getting about five grand, sorry, profit already with buying this car. So we're in profit already. Once we give this car a clean, it's not missing any body panels. Hopefully we'll be able to repair all the body panels, weld the chassis, etc., etc. We can make, yeah, you know, our money back, I think. Yeah. So this, cause this year is definitely one we'll probably be taking. I'm also looking around for, you know, start parts or quality parts to scrap hopefully ones here as well as for the engine we need but yeah so this is just the first the first uh first barn you know and we're straight into what i'm looking for okay which is a v8 engine a v8 ohv engine that's what i'm looking for and we found one straight away so i'm gonna keep looking if i find something better something cheaper is another reptilia really but this is the R2 version. This is a different engine, so we don't need that. Um, but yeah, so if I find anything else that piques my interest for this car, I will bring you guys back in. Okay, so we are back at the garage, and yes, I have uh, kind of spent a little bit too much, but never mind. All right, so first of all, I got some parts that are going to be very useful to us. Got some alternators, got some V8 OHV fans, which we're going to need. Um, manifolds, etc., etc. Some good start stuff, you know, quality stuff, and that. Um, also got some other engine parts for, like inline sixes and V12s, etc., etc. I also found this beauty. Okay, so it's a Mayan. Uh, was it Mayan? Uh, What's it called? Mayan M8. That's the one. Um, sent me back forty-seven thousand, but it's worth about fifty-one, so we made three thousand nine hundred seventy-seven profit. And it's got some sort of special camouflage paint as well. So I don't know if this is a special one of a kind kind of car or what. I don't know. But it says car uh, version R. Again, don't know. It's a V8 DOHC supercharged. So I thought this would probably be our next project. So this is going to be the project after. And should make, be able to make a bit of money out of that. Um, but anyway, back to the project at hand. So I went and bought this Reptilia. For the engine as you guys know i'm hoping to make a little bit of money back from the actual car itself because we kind of do need to do that so let's send it to the car wash get it cleaned then we're going to get the body repaired and get welded up get it sprayed and see we might not even need to get this sprayed because yeah we might not even need to but we'll see <laughs> we'll see what this car looks like once it's done but yeah, we need to kind of make a little bit of money back. It's really, really oh, so tempting, though, just to keep it <laughs> so tempting. We will do, obviously, a reptilia, but at the moment, we're not going to be doing that. Um, we're just going to be concentrating on getting one project done at a time. And I kind of kind of got our next project. All right. I don't know why I put on a lift, but I did. So, yeah, it was with that. Let's take all the body panels we can off, get these repaired. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I just had a fizzy drink, which I don't condole anymore. Uh, let's move this one over to the Reptilia. Let's go to the... Oh, I haven't even unlocked this shit yet, have I? Oh, no. Have I got enough to unlock it yet? Ah, uh, no. Tits. Oh, well. Never mind. Let's just get the body repaired. I am going to unlock that. I'm going to... Before the next episode, which, by the way, I this episode is late. This episode was meant to be out yesterday. And I apologise for that, guys. Okay? I do apologise for that. But, yeah, this episode was meant to be out yesterday. Um, it's not. It's out today. So, what I'm going to be doing is posting another video out tomorrow. And then it's going to go to my new schedule. And, by the way, if you haven't checked out my new schedule... 
there is a video out about when this is going to be released um but i will quickly explain now I, i'm planning on doing this every other day and it's going to be tuesdays thursdays and saturdays uh windshield please thank you uh, but yeah i was late creating this content or recording this video so it's out today and like i said i will double up it's going to be next one's going to be out tomorrow so i hope you don't mind guys i hope that doesn't bother you um but yeah i will stick to schedules i will stick i honestly do i'm very good at sticking to schedules just not lately <laughs> and not lately i do like the black that black is pretty darn look at that that's just sweet isn't it that's very sweet sweet is no, no i just put on the wrong freaking thing oh no oh well let's just get this done away and yeah there was a reason why i put on the car lift thank you guys i'm taking the engine out what am i thinking i need to go and get my fast backpack fast back 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 fast back back let's get on b that do um so yeah it's, it's still you know there's a lot to this engine it's not as though it's a complete trash one like wasn't originally in the fastback so yeah it's a, it's a pretty pretty neat engine it's got a bit here we've also got a drive shaft which is good because i don't think we actually have a drive shaft for this fastback so this is uh, also very handy but anyway anyway I'm, I'm yabbering on as i always do some of you guys love my yabbering i'm british we talk a lot all right we love you're in the sound of barbarian voices and sometimes it is just shit that comes out of them but anyway i'm gonna get this engine out and get it to the workbench strip it down get things repaired and then guys i will bring you back in before we start the next process So I'm just finishing off the repairs now. Uh, we've got a few things that are going to be, well, ideal for this build. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to use it all. I kind of lost the timing cover. I accidentally, uh, yeah, cocked that one up. But that's fine. That's just not a problem. We can get this done anyway. All right, let's jump on to the shoop. Let's go tune shop. We want alternator. And I mainly need pistons and pistons and pistons. I could search. I know I could search. Right. Yeah, it's pistons anyway. So we want eight pistons. Then we've got to go back to normal car parts. We need rings. We need piston rings. Piston, piston, piston ring. Piston, piston, piston ring. Right. Okay. Let's go rotates. Okay, camshaft and pistons. So we have about 27,000 to get this engine fully modified, fully running, fully just everything. Yeah, we just need this running, this engine running sweeter than that and sounding like a kitten during hunting season. Okay. That's what we need. We need it this we need this yeah what's it called <laughs> we need this kitty that's it kitty i've got a freaking kitty school then so we need this kitty purring
Okay, so just coming up to the finishing touches now, which is the timing. And then, guys, we have completely rebuilt a supercharger engine, ready to do our first engine swap on any of the cars, actually, to be honest with you. This is our very first engine swap, which is cool. Get more power and much beefier, beefier heart, that's what I like. And let's whack a two star one on there. Eventually, we will. I'm going to completely redo this engine, build this engine, and have it all three star, hopefully, quality. Um, that obviously is going to take <coughs> some time to do that with only 286 scrap. Yeah, well, it's definitely going to take some time. So, let's get this up and the bonnet open. Thank you. Engine stand over. And plop in like that. Cool. And what I'm going to do as well, I'm just going to go uh, move to Reptila. This can do a supercharge. Yeah, it can do. Okay. Um, let's have a look at the price of this thing. Well, we're minus 722. Let's install engine. Like so, and now we're at just put that in. We're at three thousand nine hundred sixty-eight. So we can sell this one, uh, sell, get that money back, which is good. We did actually make money back on that. And uh, yeah, so now we just got to do gearbox, drive shaft. Oh, okay, drive shaft, and then that is going to be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, next episode, which will be tomorrow, we are going to do all the finishing touches. And, um, yeah, just go from there, basically. I think we'll be starting our next project whilst we work towards scrap to, you know, three-star everything on this car. Sorry, I'm just trying to concentrate. Um, but, yeah, you, you, you guys, you guys know what I'm talking about. Why did I come off my shot for? No, I need that. Thank you. Uh, Vashi, do we have a V H O H V C V V T? All those numbers. Uh, we got O H V. We got D. I want C. Is there a C? Please be a C. Front section is C. C. Or C. There's no C. Fine. Have it your way. Have it your way. It's quite upsetting when it's not the one you want. Um, we do have a gearbox, which we're going to be doing. We do have gearboxes. V H O H V gearbox. Um, there. Thank you. And in you go. So there's not much more performance parts we can actually do to this, except for exhaust, uh, fuel pump. We got that to go in. But that's all, like I said, going to be next episode. We need something to do next episode, guys. We can't do everything in one episode. You know? I'm not one of these that uh, tries to finish this game as quick as I possibly can to get the content out. I like to take my time. You know, ramble on a bit. And we did have a drive shaft. Oh, well. Ramble on a bit. And build some beautiful cars. Okay, so drive shafts in. Gearbox in. Engines in. And she looks freaking beautiful. I don't know whether you've noticed, guys, but we have green headers here to go with the actual car. And uh, it is the exact same color as the car. It's just darker because it is, it is what it is. And let's drop her outside. Let's have a quick gander, shall we? Uh, yeah, let's swap it for the other fastback. Oh, yes. Oh, come, no, hang on, where is that, hang on, come to baby, come to baby, come to papa. Okay, guys, so yeah, that is everything that needs to be done this episode. We've uh, fully, like I said, fully rebuilt the supercharged engine, it's all got performance parts on. Um, we are going to be, well, I'm hoping between, I don't know what's going to be between the next episode, because like I said, next episode is tomorrow, which I'm going to be recording straight away after this. So I'm not going to be before that. So before the episode after, okay. Um, 
I'm going to hopefully unlock all the rest of the things that need to be unlocked. Like we have the next lot of spray booth to unlock. Um, we got dino to unlock. Um, just hopefully these four things. Hopefully I'm going to be unlocking. And unlock the ability or renovator number box at six. So we got the ability to repair body panels. We are going to be need that. I'm hoping to get that done before the next project, which is over there, which is the Mayan M8. I cannot wait. So basically a BMW, because that's what Mayan is. I think oh, it's Audi. Audi actually, I think it's Audi. I think it's Audi. But uh, yeah, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry it's late, and uh, still, I hope you, I hope you, uh, you know, understand. I do have a lot to do. Plus, I got a family and that, so yeah, it's hard to get content out on time, but I will try. I always do try to. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. If you're new, subscribe and show your support. And I will see you guys in the next video, which is tomorrow. And we are going to complete this Mustang Fastback. And it is kind of a racing green, isn't it? But yeah, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Till next time, have fun, keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.